Hi, welcome to the Mr. Phil Show. Hi, how's everybody out there doing today? How are you doing, Laura? I'm doing pretty good. I can't complain. Got my two kids here watching. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a really, really big show uh, going on tonight, and uh, we ha we're going to have a special treat for you. Um, we're going to have this girl, Veronica Cole. Uh, she's been performing since she was four years old, this girl, and she done quite a bit of stuff even before she came to us. Uh, she came to us almost four years ago now. Wow. Yes. How old? She's probably she 12? <laughs> she was barely 13 when wow. she came to us. But uh, she's a grown young woman now. And, uh, you know, she's going to let us know what she's doing now. We're going to interview her and all. And uh, this is a very special show because this girl is involved involved in a lot now so so what yeah. are you doing with yourself oh um, uh, let's see I'm, I'm singing here and there I got okay. a show coming up in Walk Hill you know more on the theatrical side I don't do pop <laughs> right so it's funny it's, fun. right? it's funny that uh, you have something in common with Lori yes yes we like to do the opera Yes, both of you. <laughs> well, opera singers, yes. sopranos. How do you like that? I have uh, two co-hosts. Both of them are uh, sopranos, opera singers, and yep. Laurie and Laura. Yep. <laughs> we sing the same st things. Yes. Yep. <laughs> um, and I just want to say out there that uh, anybody uh, who has original music, okay, who's an artist out there, who'd like to be on our show, uh, please uh, give the uh, station a call, okay? And uh, we'd love to have you, uh, you know, audition, and we'd love to hear you and uh, have you on our show because we're trying to expand in different areas and we want to uh, run uh, better shows with mm -hmm. original music, with original artists. Yes, That's get, what a, we're trying. get exposure. So, yes, we're so trying to give exposure out there, okay? We just we're trying to do all we can to better ourselves. Okay. That's a good idea. Good idea. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna uh, get up now and I'm gonna do a song for my new album. Uh, before I do it, I just wanna talk about the song uh, first for about a minute. The song is called "I Had a Dream." It was uh, written by um, Carl uh, Richards and uh, Brian from his band. He wrote the song about my life as an artist on TV, as a recording artist, and the words are just perfect. Originally, uh, we wanted to have that song uh, for uh, the American Idol contest. They used to have a songwriting contest years ago. That's right. Yes. You do they still that? do that? No, they don't do that anymore. Huh. So they wrote this song about me, and then they uh, stopped having that contest. Oh, okay. So he said, hmm. as long as we uh, have to go that route and we don't have the contest, you might as well take it from me and record it yourself. That's great. <laughs> so it's a, yeah, it's a beautiful song and a beautiful ballad. So I'm going to uh, go up to the uh, mic stand and do the song for you now before we bring up our guest. Testing. Hello there out there.
chase the rainbows. I found my pot of Now I'd like to call up our guest, Miss Veronica Cole. Please come up here and we'll talk to you for a, a little bit. Nice job, Mr. Phil. Thank awesome. you. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, how are you? Doing good. How are you? I'm pretty good. You look great and can't wait to hear you again. It's been Thank a while. Thank you. I know, it's been a while. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Um, I miss you guys over here. Um, just going to fill you guys in on everything that's going on today. I've been doing a lot of stuff lately, so um, you guys will hear a little bit about what I'm doing lately and all these new things that are coming up soon that you guys can all check out from at home and from everywhere else. So, um, what do you want to do? Let's get this thing started. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. The last, uh, I remember you were on the telethon here, mm -hmm. okay? And you had that music vi uh, video, Are You Ready? Yeah, that video is coming out in about a month. Ah. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the video is coming out. The new music video is coming out in about a month, so I'm really excited for that one. Um, we've been working on it a lot, so. Where is it going to be shown, that music video? Um, probably it'll start online. I know people are interested in putting it in Europe and um, a lot of wow. other places, but uh, right now we're going to start it off on YouTube and see what's going Oh, yeah, on. good place to start. <laughs> you got a lot of stuff on YouTube. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Just on your be famous. I guess so. <laughs> and uh, also, you're involved with a sh uh, with a show yourself, aren't you? Yeah, I'm. Uh, right now, I'm starring in a TV pilot called Which Way. Wow. Um, wow. We've been shooting a lot lately, doing a few live shows. Um, just trying to work on getting it out there. I know MTV, ABC Family, CW, they all love the show. Um, I know I love being part of this show. I have a great director. I have great cast members. So it's just a lot of fun. It's it's a great place to be at. So. So when did you go That's from sing <laughs> when did you go yeah, from right? singer to actress? Well, I've always done acting. I've always done the whole three rounds of everything in performing. Um, I just let I've been in a performing school for three years for an acting major. So I guess it's 
kind of time to see a little bit of the acting come on TV and stuff, so. Right. You know, I remember the first show you did here back uh, almost four years ago. Almost, you believe it's almost four years? I, I can't believe it. I, I feel so old right now. I, <laughs> I'm only 16. I, I just feel so old now. I, what was I, on with braces the first time I came here? Like, yeah, I, you, were barely, <laughs> you were barely 13. And I remember I had asked you a, a question back then. I said, when you reach uh, 16, do you think you'd want to uh, try out for American Idol? And your answer was, I hope to be famous before then. Yeah, well, it didn't happen. <laughs> it's I, in the process. I it's it's still in the process. Things takes a lot of time. I didn't realize mm -hmm. how long things really did take. Um, it takes a while to make everything picture perfect the way you want it to be. Things don't work out with certain people. The, the industry yeah, is a right. struggle. It really is. Um, I've been through a lot just within the few, like the seven years that I've been in this industry. I mean... I went from person to person to person just trying to make it out there. And, um, it's a tough business. It really is. It's I a know, tough I world. Believe it. I believe it. And uh, it, it's great stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say that it isn't. Um, I'm not going to say that every person that I've come f through with hasn't helped me at least a little bit. But um, I guess it just takes a lot of hard work and that one big break, and that's it. You know what right. I mean? And it takes a while to find that big break. Well, uh, now, I'm going to ask you the same question. Do you still enjoy it as much as you did back then? Is it something that you want to do for the rest of your life? Of course. I actually love it more every year, <laughs> even though there's a lot of struggles in it. And uh, it, it, it's a crazy world. It's a crazy business. I still love every minute of it. Um, I have a lot of fans. I have a lot of people who are supporting me. Like, I don't have to be Justin Bieber to be able to be who I am. I like I love where I am and I love where I could go and just I like seeing everything progress slowly I like seeing the whole process I like seeing how much I've changed it, it's a fun thing I love it and I just like I embrace every minute of it so right and I, I want to say something uh, that I've noticed I know you for like four years now and you're still as humble as you are from day one when I met you. <laughs> I guess so. That I means mean, a lot. I mean, that, that means I, a lot. I, that does mean a lot. I mean, hey, there are people out there who are really stuck up. And yeah. Just, yeah. You and and, and the, I think your fans can sense that too. Mm -hmm. Right. And you stay that way, they'll love you. Know? Yeah, of course. I love talking to my fans either way. I mean, like, I, I still go on Facebook sometimes and talk to my fans. And some of them even have my number, which is, it, it's kind of crazy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> little, no. A little crazy sometimes, but, um, I handle it and I make sure that everything gets done that I have to do while being able to talk to everyone that wants to talk to me because it, it, it's crazy. You manage it's, it You do what you can, you know. I try. That's I try. All. <laughs> they, they know you're trying. That's all that counts. I, I'm trying. I'm still I'm hanging in there. <laughs> I got a lot going on. I got a job and a, like... I have school and I'm almost school. a senior. And you're it, working too now? Uh-huh. Where are you working? American Eagle Outfitters at the Freehold Raceway Mall in New Jersey. <laughs> this I, girl I is work remarkable. At, I work yeah. retail. Yeah. I work retail. This is from my store. Oh, oh there you go. So, um, no, it, it's nice. Working is nice. It's a good responsibility. I like making money every two weeks. <laughs> oh, no. I like being That's able steady. to know that maybe I can pay for gas money in a couple months so when I get my car. Uh, <laughs> I like that uh, information. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Insurance. You're, you're what? You're getting a car? I have to. Yeah, you kind of need New one. New Jersey, you need one. It's you're like, are you, do you have your license Watch those I get my driving. license in two, three months. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're driving now, right? Yeah, I, I have my permit, so. Watch the road, everyone. I'm <laughs> oh! <laughs> the Jersey driver girl. I, I'm a better driver than a lot of people would think I am. I'm actually careful on the roads. I know. See cops, I'm a good kid. Don't pull me over. <laughs> <laughs> no bad stuff for me. I'm good. I won't, I won't break any rules. I'm, yeah. I'm a good driver. I remember when I started driving, I was like 18 years old. And I, when I was 18 years old, I looked like I was about 14. Mm. Oh, I used to always get pulled over. I've, ne I've never gotten pulled over, so let's keep that record good. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep that record good. They down. used to come <laughs> over to me and say, Knock they, on wood, right they here. They used to come over to me, I mean, and they think I stole the car. And they think I was like 14 <laughs> years old. Yeah. 
<laughs> driving like this. You look a little too long. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think they're gonna one day they're gonna pull me over for being too short, and I'm I'm gonna be like, I have my license. <laughs> Because I'm five foot. They're going to think I'm like five years old. <laughs> They're going to pull me over. But it's okay. I'm a good kid. I don't go 80 in a residential. No worries. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> That's all we need to know. We know you're a good kid. I mean, you know, you, I mean the things you've done, I really admire the way you've done things. Yes. Fundraisers, charity things, I mean, and... That's one thing that you and me have in common. Yeah, I've been all over. I've, mm -hmm. I've just been like, I'm, I'm trying to help people. That's my goal right now is like, I, I love the whole like fan thing. It, it's really like, I love it. I, I'm just loving this right now. Like I'm loving the music. I'm loving the videos. I'm loving all that. But I like to give back too. I like to give oh, yeah. to my fans. I like my fans yeah. to know that I'm right. there for them. Mm -hmm. I actually have a rally next weekend for child abuse, which wow. is a huge, oh, huge, huge, huge right. thing going on right now. It's a good um, charity. Yeah. It's a very, very good charity. I'm actually one of the ambassadors for that. So. Wow. I've been doing a lot. I'm uh, yeah, performing at Relay for Life in May at my school, yeah, and I'm like, wow. I'm trying to get involved. I'm trying right. to make sure everyone knows that I'm there for that. The them business too. is great, and I enjoy doing the fundraisers. Like mm -hmm. I open, I open for a group for Larry Chance and the Earls, me and Lori, mm -hmm. at a cerebral palsy benefit mm -hmm. last year. Mm, you wow. know, I mean, that, I think that was most, one of the best days in my show business Good career. Feeling. <laughs> doing that yeah, of course helping people is always and, great and then when Larry Chance walked up to me and said beautiful job I mean to me and to Lori wow yeah I mean that <laughs> feels good <laughs> it's great it's a great feeling it's a great I, I love feeling. helping and, people it's great you know this year I'm hoping to be on the Jerry Lewis telethon yeah well, oh come on you gotta do the imitation <laughs> that's, a, that's a big one that's a big one you that's do a good a, imitation I can handle it you could do it of course you can yeah you know me <laughs> yeah I mean it, it, it's it's, it's a fun thing. I mean, yeah. You have the personality for it. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, just go help people. Everyone, help people. Sh everyone should help people. Helping yes. people is cool. Helping people yes. is fun. That's right. As long as you're, you're able to help yourself, you can get to a point where you can help other people. Right. Exactly, That's, exactly. Yep. Okay, uh, okay we want to hear you. Let's... You, want, you guys actually want to hear me? All right. Let's go. <laughs> get yeah. some music yeah, going. We'll All right, we'll get some music going. We're going to go over to the other side now. Wow, a future superstar. Wow, yeah, they get her autograph before. Yeah, we it's too late. <laughs> they get her autograph, but might be. It's worth it's something now. I have to go on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, good old Facebook. Yes. YouTube. YouTube. The it's whole. all good. Yeah, internet fame, and then mm. we go from there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll jump into that if you want me to. <laughs> that was the order we were given here in the booth. What would you like to do? I'm going to do an acoustic first, then I'm going to go into the audio. You got it. All right, sweet. So um, I decided I'd start off with acoustic. Acoustic is something I've been like really playing around with lately. Um, trying to get my vibe in because my acoustic is where I'm just going to settle down and tell everyone uh, kind of the inside scoop about myself. Um, this is like my core music. I love the acoustic. It's a great thing. Um, I've been playing acoustic since I've been in eighth grade, but I've really been starting to play around with it a little bit more. So I hope you guys enjoy this song. I wrote it and it's called Stories Untold. All the stories on the news, we see them every day about the lives we've lost and the hope we've gained. There's nowhere like this place, I know the town where I was raised, where everything that's happened would lead to a change. It's a crazy life, but hold on tight to this roller coaster ride we all fight. A story untold as the pages unfold to this place we call our home. The days that we spent in this town we all know freehold. Everywhere you go there's another 
sad face or another person you can't replace when you turn a new corner oh smile there you'll see because we stick together like it's meant to be it's a crazy life but hold on tight to this roller coaster ride we all fight You turn, you cry, you pout, you try to stop the season, but it's not working out. And everything you've tried to do, it all just comes back, cause it's haunting you. It's a crazy life, but hold on tight to this roller coaster ride we all find. A story untold as the pages unfold to this place we call our home. The days that we spent in this town we all know freehold. It's a crazy life, but hold on tight to this roller coaster ride we all find. A story untold as the pages unfold to this place we call our home. The days that we spend in this town we all know and love free. So that was a song I wrote. Um, it's based off my town because my town does go through a lot of stuff. We've lost a lot of people and we still hold it together and it's about people coming together and really being able to um, support each other when things go wrong. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, that's the only thing I'm gonna play for you guys on acoustic today because I'm gonna buckle down and do my really poppy mix of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this next one as I kind of set up for my next act. Did I mention that I've done stage crew before? Because I have, so I'm gonna do a little bit of stage crew right now and get myself ready. That was a nice little bang for you guys back at home. So I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Um, this was actually planned, this is a comedy act, so you all can laugh at me while I do my own stage work. So um, I hope you enjoyed that, and now I'm back. So are you ready? The song I'm gonna sing for you guys, the first song I'm gonna start you guys off with, is actually my single. It was released and written by myself, Brenda K. Starr, and Annika Vitolo, and it will be released as a music video next month. I hope you guys enjoy this. This song is called Ready For You. Don't wanna wait no longer, I got you in my sight. I'm falling hard for you, and I ain't the patient type. He's got me in the mood, waiting to get with you. Go on and make your move. So what you gonna do? I was holding you back for being so shy. I know you ain't that kind of guy. I'm standing right here to school the fear. Baby, are you ready? Baby, are you ready? Tell me, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Cause I'm ready for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Cause I'm ready for you. I cannot sleep at night. I got you on my mind. I'm tossing, turning, and I'm wishing you were by my side. Got a new attitude. I'm feeling really good. You want to feel my groove. Baby, it's up to you. It's holding you back from being so shy. I know you ain't that kind of guy. Listen right here to sleep the fear. Baby, are you ready?
So that was my single. It's called Ready For You. The next song I'm going to sing is actually a ballad. This song is probably my favorite song on my whole CD. The song is called You Said Her Name. He told me this every day. I was a girl of his dreams and that would never change. Then he saw her and he went astray. Left me alone in a nightmare. And it felt so strange when I saw him leave me. I almost broke it down and cried. My heart got achy, my legs got shaky, and something inside me died. And ever since that day, he's been asking for me back. But I keep saying no, though I love him so. And I think about the past. Cause every time we talked, he would listen to me more. Every time we left, there was something more in store. Every time we kissed, I never felt anything like this. Even though I keep trying, I keep going back. This love I can dismiss. talked every day i felt so in love it was late one friday night we were sitting outside warm air with the stars above but then it happened what he did was such a shame he said i love you i'll never leave you and then he said her name because every time we talked he would listen to me more every time we laughed there was something more in never felt anything like this even though i keep trying i keep going back this is love i can dismiss every time we talk he would listen to me more every time we left there was something more in store every time we kissed i never felt anything like this even though i keep trying i keep going back his love i can Her name not mine, though he called me all the time. How could this be? He meant so much to me. Put in a trance, I would not have known if I didn't give it just one more chance. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple more songs for you. Those two songs were actually originals from my brand new little EP album that just came out. It's called Are You Ready to Dance? It's available on iTunes, Amazon. Uh, you can hear it on Django, a few stations out there. Um, people are loving it. I hope you guys are loving it just like they are, just like I am, just like everyone here hopefully is. Um, we have a bunch of cool shows coming up. We got a show April 1st, April 3rd. I'm going on a cruise, so that's gonna be kind of cool. I'll tell you guys a little bit about it later. This song is actually a song that I wrote a couple years ago, probably. This song is called School Boy Crush. Yeah, I have problems. Sitting with my head down. Oh no, I'm gonna be grounded. grounded. But it's okay. Cause I think I like him. him. I think I got a crush on, on him. him. It was a Monday. Weekend was crazy. I had so much fun. Wish there was. 
some way I need high school today But I got a letter anonymously Ooh. My friends are telling me to open it up Guess it's a schoolboy crush Said if you like me then check, check the box Take your time, I'm not in no rush Never, never seen them, don't know who it is It's kind of weird, weird but it's keeping me in rush Cause I tried and I tried and I tried song I'm gonna do for you guys today is available on my new EP CD. You guys can check it out on iTunes. Uh, it's playing on Django. You can check it out on Amazon. Um, I might be adding a bunch of new songs on soon, but um, this is the, it's actually one of the number ones on the CD. It's probably my favorite dance song on the CD because it's always so fun. And uh, if you guys like what you see, you guys should add me on Facebook. Uh, I'm under Veronica K-O-L-E. You can find me on myspace.com slash Veronica Cole one, the number one, not uh, O-N-E, just the number one. Uh, it's Veronica Cole, K-O-L-E on Facebook. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. I, I love to tweet on Twitter. Uh, you can find me on twitter.com slash Veronica underscore Cole or at Veronica underscore Cole, K-O-L-E. Um, just like talk to me. I love talking to people. I love seeing your feedback. So give me feedback. I hope you guys enjoy it. This last song is called Let's Dance. you 
Cole. I'm so glad I'm back at the station. I haven't been here in so long. Mr. Phil is a great guy. So I hope you guys all enjoy this next little part of the show. We're all going to kind of jam out to this until we fade it out. Um, again, you can find this song and a lot of the other ones that I sang today on iTunes, Amazon. Add me on Facebook, Twitter, all that fun stuff. I hope I see you guys soon. Bye, guys. I'm being interviewed again, so hold on. You can interview me. Ah. You can talk to me. See that, guys? I'm back. Yes. <laughs> Did you miss okay. me? <laughs> <laughs> so. Great job. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Like Thank pop you. star. <laughs> it's hard. I don't have my dancers and my flashy lights. Dad, your dancers? You have <laughs> my your dancers. own dancers? I've had my own dancers for like two years. How many of them? I, right now, wait, <laughs> usually around four perform at each show, but I have around nine or ten or wow. twelve. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. I have t around Moving 12 along. girls on my <laughs> roster. I love them all. It's a... Uh, Let's see if I can name them all too. It's uh, Steph, Angelica, Gabby, um, Soroya. <clears throat> wow. Uh, Chanel, Yana, Darby, P. Um, let's see. And I have two more girls. It's um, Courtney and Marissa. They're brand new and they're joining me on the cruise. I'm going on the Royal Caribbean and performing on the Royal Caribbean from August 19th to the 23rd, I believe. So. Um, yeah, there. A few of them are joining me on the cruise. We're doing shows all around. I have a show tomorrow. I. Uh, that's exciting. Yeah. That's, that's exciting. I mean, a lot of stuff uh, going you, on. Now, how did you get the cruise? I mean, how did how did that come about? Wow. Uh, let's see. This was uh, be about a year ago or so. I um, I performed at this thing. I. <coughs> it was a competition, and uh, I won a free cruise. That's I won nice. four free tickets, and then I get to bring whoever I want. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be performing on a cruise. Wow, that's great. Yeah. You, I mean, I can't believe you've come such a long way. Yeah. yeah. It is actually a short time that you've come that long. I mean, I mean this um, is takes, like, <laughs> that's good, you know. I mean, this yeah. is a short time, wow. I mean, that you've come such a long way. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, did, 
I have. <laughs> what hard work. I know. What happened to the rock and roll uh, teen chorus group? Uh, rock and roll chorus. I've been with them for almost three years. Uh, I've been getting really, really busy lately. I love the group so much. I I toured two summers with them. Um, I'm about to take my final few shows with them. Um, it was a great, great experience. They're great people. Joe Cantafa is an awesome director. The group is awesome. They're all really, really talented. A lot of my main cast that I was with have all left, gone to college, moved on. And um, I guess I've been getting so busy that it's towering down. So I'm going to end it off with a great end of the season and just uh, move forward with everything I'm doing right now. So. Wow. Have you been on national TV yet? I have before. I've been on a hmm. lot of things. I can't even remember them. Um, what have I been on? <laughs> it's it's really bad. Um, I can't remember anything right now. <laughs> I'm blank. Yeah. I'm blanking. Okay. I'm blanking. <laughs> I have though. <laughs> uh -huh. I I don't remember. I actually am being televised. <laughs> I'm just remembering all these things right now. I've been on MJN. Um, I've been on Telemundo. I've been hmm. Channel 12 New Jersey. Channel 4 New York. Um, Wow, uh, Channel 5, uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> wow, I'm blanking out, I actually, on the, on April 1st, I believe, yeah, April 1st, I'm actually doing a 25th anniversary for NJN, I'm hosting a show for them that's going to be televised. Very nice. So, uh, I have a what, lot, I, I can't remember NJN? a lot of it. NJN, New it's Jersey. New Jersey Network, it's, yeah, uh, I've seen it. mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's mm -hmm. all around New Jersey, um, and we've, they've been doing a lot of shows. I did a show with them and won a scholarship last year, and wow. now I'm That's hosting a, their wow. show this year. And it's their 25th anniversary, so why not? Um, it's a lot of fun. The people there are awesome, and it's great. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, the latest thing for me is uh, could be David Letterman. Oh, uh, wow. i got to watch that. Yes. <laughs> You're going to be on David Letterman? Well, um, I, Carl Richards... Uh, put me in for that show. My manager, he um, put my music videos together and everything for for that one. So. Oh, wow. That, and then we're that. also trying it out uh, for some more shows in uh, the Fallon show. We're trying for that one. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Fallon. And, nice. Yes, and then I got an email for Oprah. She's interested in me. Oh, wow. Awesome. I'll definitely <laughs> keep a look at then. Yeah, so I mean, so... You know, yeah, things, are, awesome. things are happening in, in my that's life exciting. also. Yeah, that's awesome. Congrats. Yes, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> keep pushing. Keep moving forward. And, uh, Laura uh, um, is on uh, one of my songs on my CD, my yes. new CD. I get oh, to wow. sing an original. Yes. I know, I don't write like you. I <laughs> like to sing other people's music. <laughs> right, so, uh, I li hey, everyone <laughs> likes singing other people's music. I was going to sing other people's I'll do, music. I do everything. <laughs> Potpourri. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm excited yeah. about that. Yes. Yeah, you know, that's awesome. So we share, like I used to say, we may be a few years difference. <laughs> a few. But <laughs> we share we share the same hope and dream, don't oh, we? Of course, a lot of people have that same hope and dream. It's just, mm -hmm. um, it's just a matter of time, patience, and sometimes who you know, what you know, and luck. <laughs> yeah, a little luck. luck. <laughs> a little who bit you know. of luck, a little bit of luck. You gotta do what you love. A whole load of talent. To, to some degree, do, do like I do what I love to some degree. I mean, <laughs> you're, you know, oh, yeah. whatever works. My uh, biggest thing of all uh, coming this year is this could be a full-time job for me where I'll be able to finally retire from my regular job. Oh, uh, wow. And. <coughs> is a children's sure TV that. show. Oh, wow, that's awesome. That they're working on for me. And um, Carl Rich is going to be writing the scripts for we He's planning it. I'll, in other words, it'll be different than this show. I'll be centered around it. In okay. other words, uh, I'll be like the, uh, the host on it. And uh, there may be th this guy like, uh, who acts races the, post, the postal man, Looney Balloony. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. it's uh, gonna be a great thing. They're all putting it together for me. I was, in fact, it wasn't an audition. It was a job interview. Oh, awesome! Had. They, uh, my manager brought me down, and uh, it was a job interview. And they interviewed me just like a job. And they told me to let me know. And then a week later, they said, "Congratulations! Once we started, you got the job." 
All right, awesome. Sweet. I, I'd love to retire like that. Hey, if I want to retire right now, someone hire me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hire me for something that's not retail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love retail, but, you know, I, I'd love to be singing every day and just Right, I think retire. I'd say uh, from this show, I think you've gone the furthest. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. You definitely have gone the furthest from this show. Mm -hmm. That's nice to know. Hey? You know? I, I like knowing that I'm making it out there. I like knowing that people are knowing my name and just kind of getting myself out there. So. And starting young, which really helped. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, forget it. You're married, have children. It's <laughs> very hard to do. recognize you when you ask you for autographs out there. Um, I do get recognized a lot. I, I had this show the other day, and I was swamped, and I, uh, I swear to God, if anyone does bodyguarding, help me. Let me know. Um, it's a scary world yep. when everyone's coming up to you and speaking three different languages and you don't understand what they're saying. That's all right. I got to say. So <laughs> I, I just like, I'm embracing it. I'm enjoying it. I love oh, yeah. it. I, I, I love when people notice me. I love when people like who I am. I, yep. I take it in. I love it. Oh, yeah. So. I, know, I know how it's like. People walk up to me <laughs> all the time. And the best... Uh, I've ever, the best time I ever had was in Hollywood uh, when I did the Jimmy Kimmel show the first time and mm -hmm. I left the show um, and uh, with all the first I went to a celebrity party and then went out with them and I was signing autographs and I said I'm not in Middletown New York anymore yeah. like Dorothy is saying <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not in Kansas anymore <laughs> right I know it's, it's crazy I mean I've been doing a lot um, with a, a lot of different promoters and uh do you, do you guys know the show Jersey Licious and Cake Boss and Jersey Shore? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I've been um, going to a lot of events and parties with them lately. Wow. Jersey Shore? You hang Jersey with them? Jersey Shore. Um, <laughs> I met Angelina from the Jersey Shore. Oh, boy. <laughs> I know uh, Tracy DeMargo is an awesome friend of mine. Um, Briella from Jersey Licious. They're both from Jersey Licious. Cousin Jersey Anthony Licious. from the Cake Boss. They're all awesome people. Uh, Big Daddy Productions, I gotta give them a shout out because they're the ones who make it all possible. Um, wow. They all get us together and we just chill and I sing and stuff. So it, it's yeah. fun. It's fun. It's a lot yeah. of cool stuff. Have you ever met any American Idols? Um, this girl actually who was on American Idol or something performed at a gig I was at for. Um, mm. uh, it was uh, it was for a Jersey. What you call it? It was um it was some kind of Jersey. Um, show that they um, auctioned items off for charity and um, people from Jersey Licious, Jersey Shore, all of them were there and this girl who got X'd off American Idol was there. I don't remember her oh. name but I met her so <laughs> I guess that counts. I have to throw this in. I, I met Constantine. I have a great picture with him. Constantine, wow. Marulis. Everyone the, meets Constantine Jesus. at the beach by my area. And I met him on Broadway. Him I stalk. Oh, okay. I, I, I go to Broadway shows and I stalk you him stalk afterwards. The yeah, people? I stand outside. I'm right. one of those. Oh, I do too. Trust me. I went to go see Next to Normal. <laughs> you gotta see my album. <laughs> close, right? Right? Oh my god, it's great. I mean, uh, my, my, uh, my teacher, I go to Howell High School for the Fine and Performing Arts Academy, and uh, being a junior, our teachers like to tell us stories, and uh, my teacher stalks Broadway stars, so <laughs> it, it's nice to hear that other people do that, too. Leah, I that. Leah Salonga, oh my gosh, if anybody knows Broadway, I met Leah Salonga. If, if, love her. If anyone knows <laughs> Leah Michelle, let me know, because I love her. She's hmm, amazing. She's and Idina familiar. Menzel. Idina oh, Menzel. yes, yes, yes. Kristen Chenoweth. Oh, those, I love her. Oh, my God, She's I love my favorite, them. Christian. I love and, them. And I got to get up there. Yep. Oh, let's do the song. Stuff, yeah. All right, we're in. Do it. the fill thing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that, too. Okay. Right. Sweet. <laughs> Show. Okay.